So when we think about personalities in this election, certainly we've seen Hillary up her game. We've seen Donald. I mean, he walked in into this race as a personality. How much do you think that's going to resonate on the airwaves or to the voter? I think the great wild card, in my mind at least, is that you know Donald Trump's been breaking all the rules for the past year, year and a half. And he keeps winning, and he keeps doing well. So, I mean, all the issues about field offices and issues and everything, I, I'm not sure in the end how all that's going to play out because he has built a campaign around his personality. Now, some hate him, some love him, but, but you know, it is a personality-driven campaign that he is running. So, I mean, he, as Steve alluded to this appearance recently in Pensacola, he had 12,000 people there or something. I mean, it was a huge crowd. He's able to draw those crowds. And, you know, Hillary has, uh, uh, she does have a, the, the, uh, the ground game. She has the sort of traditional campaign structure, but she also has some personal liabilities. So um, I think there's a lot of issues that are hard to measure at this point. And whether people are going to get energized by Hillary Clinton's campaign to turn out to vote for, I agree with Mary Ellen, that Hispanic uh, population is crucial to watch. But will they get energized to turn out for her? Right. Um, and uh, so I think the personalities are, are critical in this campaign. And in some ways, they, uh, in my mind at least, almost override some of the, the blocking and tackling of the campaign.